very good morning. Thank you so much for joining me yet again on Inspired by Comfort. Now, thank you so much. Last week, we looked at Thrive Above Self-Sabotage. And, you know, what happens to us when we doubt ourselves, when we do things that sabotage our progress, that sabotage our growth. And today, we are going to continue with yet Thrive Above Self-Sabotage. Now, if it is your first time watching this, you can catch up the episodes that you missed on our social media platforms, YouTube specifically. And thank you so much for supporting the work of, you know, um, Hope Channel. And I also hope you are able to appreciate your pastor uh, because this Sabbath, yeah, the past Sabbath was a pastor's appreciation Sabbath. I hope you went, um, you know, you were in position to, you know, support, you were in position to appreciate that pastor that has made a difference in your life. It could be the pastor that, you know, uh, waited you, he could be the pastor that baptized you, pastor that, you know, um, your, your church pastor right now, the district pastors, the zone pastor. It could be, you know, the, the, the president, Uganda Union, uh, you know, uh, Uganda Union. It could be the president, Central Uganda Conference, the president, North Uganda Field, West Uganda Field, East Uganda Field, whoever it is, you know, that has made an impact in your life and is a pastor you ought to appreciate. Now, you could also go ahead and appreciate, you know, um, the widows, yeah, pastor's widows. Maybe that pastor made an impact in your life and he is no more, but the wife is still alive. You could also make a difference. You can also make a difference through their children, yeah, the PKs. So just make sure that you appreciate the man of God for the work, you know, the efforts and the sacrifices that they put through to see that we as, you know, that the sheep are doing well. They sacrifice so much, their family time and all that to see that our spiritual life is, you know, is, is, is vibing, yeah. So thank you so much for joining. Now, if it is the first time watching, last week we looked at Thrive Above Self Sabotage. This is a book that I authored. Yeah, this was my second publication. And I'm hoping uh, maybe end of this year or early next year, we'll have another publication coming in from Joe and Comfort Inspiration. Thank you so much for watching this. And I also implore you to go ahead and inform other people about Inspired by Comfort. Do not start your mornings alone. Do not be the only inspired person, yeah? Make sure that you also tell another person to, to tune on such that together we can have a fruitful and a blessed day. So we, last time we looked at, we had the preamble, why Thrive Above Self-Sabotage. We went ahead to look at uh, some of the causes of Thrive Above Self-Sabotage. We looked at, uh, you know, of, of sabotage, rather, yeah, self-sabotage. We went ahead and uh, looked at, uh, you know, what we become uh, when we feel unworthy and what have you. Now, today I want us to look at what we can do to see that we overcome you know, worthlessness. Yeah? Maybe right now you, you are, you're sitting around and you feel you do not measure up. Uh, you feel you are not, you know, you are not deserving and what have you. And, uh, you know, for some people, this occurs when they try to measure up to the unrealistic expectations others have for them. Now, we are living in a world where people have set standards for us. People have set expectations for us. You know, someone will tell you, at 23, you must be getting married. At 21, you must be done with school. At, like, people have put, you know, parameters on each and everything that we do in life. Someone, you know, people, the world says immediately you get uh, married, you ought to get pregnant. And if months pass without you getting pregnant, they start speculations. Like people have put, you know, uh, blockages almost on each and everything that we do as human beings. And some of us feel worthless because we measure up to the standard that the world has put for us. We measure up to the standard that others have set for us without looking at what our values are, without looking at what we have to say for ourselves, without looking at the standards that we have set for us. Ourselves. More so, without looking at the standard that Christ has set for us, that God has set for us through the Bible. Because the Bible has all, you know, that we need, you and I need, to live a life that will glorify God. So many of us feel we are worthless because we are measuring up to the standards of the world. Because the world says that, uh, you know, if you are probably, uh, after school you ought to get married. And if you're married, you ought to give birth immediately. And maybe the world says you're supposed to be driving. The world says you're, supposed, you're not supposed to be living in a rented house. You ought to have a house of your own. So we tend to compare ourselves to the standards that the world has given us. And then we end up discouraged. We end up, you know, heartbroken. We end up terming ourselves, defining ourselves as worthless. But where does that leave us? Where does that leave you and me? It's a very important question that you need to ask. And that is what we're going to answer today.
because we looked at what worthlessness can do to us. It is a disservice than it is a service to us. Yeah. So today I want us to look at, um, you know, to, to we need to consider the fact that every one of us, you know, has experienced worthlessness at one point or another. I that is speaking to you, I have experienced worthlessness at one point or another. But the solutions that I'm going to share with you today are the solutions that I myself have used and they have worked for me. They're the solutions that I have been able to put, you know, um, I have been able to, to put a gauge on and I assure you these solutions need to, you know, they will work for you as well. Because we need to know that no one is perfect, no matter who you are or what you've achieved in life in terms of financial gain, prestige, fame, celebrity status, you know, number of friends or material possessions, sometime you are going to feel inadequate. I'm going to give you an example. Um, That's a story time. Now, let me tell you, uh, last, last, um, you know, last month, September, uh, we had the annual general meeting for um, Uganda Media Women's Association. So when we went, before that, we were told they are, they are, they're going to elect new leadership, the board, yeah, for Uganda Media Women's Association. So I got individuals, you know, that called me, some sent me messages, and, they, they, you know, they thought I was a perfect fit to be one of the board members, and not just a board member, but for me to hold a position in the board. And I thought to myself, no, I don't think I am ready. I don't think I actually have what it takes for me to be but because I got quite a number of people that were on my neck, the, you know, the captain telling me, no, you should show interest. You should really be part of those that are going to be to govern the board. And I told them no. Then after like, you know, getting persistent people, I was like, okay, um, I'm going to be, I'm going to show in my interest. I'm put in my interest, but it's going to be strictly just a member. I just want to be a board member. I don't want any other delegation. So one of the um, the, the seniors in Uganda Media Men's Association, yeah? She has been part of the association for a very long while, and we have done some work together with her. So she comes to me and asks me, Comfort, are you among, the, have you shown, you know, shown interest in this? Have you? So I tell her, no, I am not, and I'm not going to be part of this. And she's like, why not? And then I tell her, no, because I was looking at the previous board that was outgoing. These are women that have achieved greatness. These are women, they are old. They're, so I felt like, no, I am young. I have not achieved as much as these women have. So there is no way I'm going to walk in any of their shoes. Yeah. <laughs> so she tells me, she was like, no, comfort. We have worked together with you. I have seen you do work under Umwa. And you are a brilliant young lady. You should be part. Then I was like, okay, I think I'm just going to be a board member. And she told me, no, you are more than just a board member. You are more than just a board member. At least sign up for secretary. Be the secretary to the board. Or be the treasurer to the board. Be something. Don't just be a board member. So when she told me that, I thought through it. I was like, okay. So I, 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 I was like, okay, secretary, I don't want to be secretary. So I was like, okay, I think let me go for vice uh, chairperson. So I told them, you know what, if anything, I'm going to go in for vice chairperson. And I told them I'm not going to campaign. At least... Um, I have been with Uma for quite some time now. People have seen me do work with Uma. So if they think I am deserving, I'm not going to persuade anyone yeah, to vote for me. To cut the long story short, I am the vice chairperson for Uganda Media Women's Association. Yeah, I'm the vice chairperson for the year 2024-2028. Now, I didn't think I deserved to be there. Now, let me tell you, the outgoing vice uh, person for Uma is the is, is a senior lecturer at Uganda Christian University, yeah, and she's not just the the, the, the a lecturer there. She is in charge of the Department of Journalism and Mass Communication. So you can imagine the shoe that I am trying to put myself in. So at that particular point, I self sabotaged. I was going to sabotaged, but the people around me did not allow me to self sabotage. So what am I trying to say? No matter what you have achieved, no matter how good you are, because the truth is, I know I'm good at certain things. I know I possess certain, you know, um, strengths. But even then, at times you're going to doubt yourself. At times you will want to hold back. But that is not good for you. That is not good for you. So I just want to tell you that no matter where you are, at one point or another, you know, the imposter syndrome is going to come in. You will want to hold back. But do not do that, no matter how you feel, no matter how scary it is, you need to thrive above self-sabotage. That is all we have time for today. Let us meet tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to dive deep into what we can do to overcome, you know, worthlessness, what we can do to see that we thrive above self-sabotage. My name is Comfort, and I wish you a beautiful and a blessed day.